Hey, this is Lithian from the mpc-forums.com. Uh, I got another tutorial here. I'm going to show um, how I sync Cubase with my MPC 1000. So here I have Cubase, and then here's my MPC 1000 over here. So I have this track that I'm working on, and um, so this is I'll just play it real quick. So, or actually, no, I won't play it right away. So um, first things first. So I have the Fire Studio uh, here. And most like most of the people that I know, they work with just um, a, a two-track, you know, like an M-Box or you know a Fire uh, Fire um, Fire Pod or whatever. So syncing uh, with MIDI is especially useful when you only have two tracks to track at once. So first things first, I have the out the uh, the Fire Studio out. into the in, the second in, on my MPC-1000. So that's the first step. Second step, because I'm using a Mac, I have to go to this audio MIDI setup uh, business here, and I have the Fire Studio, um, if you can see here, it's created as a, as a, a device. I have the MPC-1000, you have to create it as a device and name it. So then you connect the out, of this and you literally you literally just drag a line and stick it on there. You connect the out of this to the in of the MPC. So now your computer knows that there's a connected device active there. Okay. So next step, I load up Cubase uh, Studio 4 and I'll set up a project. I need uh, let's see I need one, two, three, five tracks. I need five uh, mono tracks. Okay, so we have um, we have our tracks set up, right? Okay, so we're ready to, to rock and roll. So I'm going to go ahead and arm the first two tracks to record. Uh, now, here's, uh, see, you go to sync, or you can go from, uh, project uh, tempo track, and now on my MPC I have the track uh, tempo at 122. So I'll set the track tempo at 122. Second thing, you can either go, you can push uh, command and then hit sync and it'll take you to the screen, or you can go MIDI, um, or excuse me, you go, uh, what the hell is it? Yeah, this is an important point too, is I, I stumble around a lot. So just try different things if you don't know, um, what you're doing, which I most of the time don't know what I'm doing. All right, anyway, so you, you can get there one way or another. Important part is, is you get to this screen right here. Uh, so it's in, I don't know, I don't mess with the time code. The important thing is, is that MP, MIDI clock destinations, the MPC is clicked or checked, and you have MIDI clock follows project position, and then always send start message. Okay, so that's armed. Those tracks are armed and ready to rock. Uh, so first thing I do is... I take a sequence, right? I copy my sequence, and this is just this is just how I do it. You don't have to do it this way, but you can if you want. Um, and I just delete the sequences so that there's nothing, or delete the tracks so there's nothing on them. Um, again, this is just my way. It's kind of I'm kind of quirky that way. There's, there's probably an easier way to do it, but um, whatever. So, so essentially, I have an exact duplicate of the last. Um, sequence. So I'll go to mode song, push mode song. I'll put that first sequence up. It's eight bars. Now the thing about Cubase or I don't know my, my particular um, setup is that it takes eight bars to sync. I don't know why. I have no idea. So I have sequence one. It's eight bars of nothing and then, and then my sequence. So I go ahead and go push mode MIDI sync. I said sync in two. Remember I plug this into two. Slave MIDI clock receive MMC MIDI um, machine code on. Okay, so this is slave to the to this Fire Studio, which is controlled by the Cubase. Okay, so I go to that mode, that song. So I just you don't even actually need to make it into a song because it'll push start. Go up to here now. First thing I do, I go to sequence one, and I solo the first track. Okay, so this is the only track that's playing right now. So let me go to that mode song. Got that all set up. Go back to Cubase. And then we're gonna. And if you want to make sure that it sounds, it's all connected. Clicks on. 
So actually, just pushing record, I've actually arm Cubase. It's recording, and it's actually recording from my MPC. Like if you look over here, you can see it's actually moving. So now, as soon as at eight bars, it'll jump into the song. So that track is tracked out. Now this is again where it comes in handy when you have you only have um, uh, you know two tracks that you can come in on. Now I'll take track two. Oops, I made a mistake. That's okay. Cubase, I'll just erase it. Okay, track two. Now is uh, we're gonna go ahead and arm that, and we're gonna go back to the track sequence one. Track mutes, and we're just gonna mute the next. We're just gonna solo the next track. So now we're ready. Mode song. Um, Again, there's probably an easier way to do this. This is just how I do it. Um, but keep in mind as well that I have eight track in, so I can just track them all out at once. I'm just showing you how to do this for those benefits that only have two tracks. So go ahead and arm it. Get in here, and we push record, and we're ready to rock and roll. This is the next track. So again, there's the eight bar count in. Um, where it's just nothing, it's sinking, it's sinking the MIDI. That's the hi-hat. I would, you know, take time to set the levels uh, so that everything is, you know, recording at a, at a quality level, but just for the purpose of this tutorial, I won't do that, you know. Okay, so repeat the process with the next uh, audio track. Okay, so now, boom, we're left with that, we're done. We're done with the MPC, we can unplug uh, the MPC Cubase from it. Well, what do you do? Okay, now you have the 8-bar counted, right? What do you do with that? Oh, oh no! Well, that's simple. You just click the scissors, erase, bam, 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 bam. Click with the scissors on the other end of it at 18, oops, 17. No, I didn't want to do that. So, presumably... <laughs> There we go. And you're ready to rock and roll. Now you can, you know, cut the data up, chop it, split it, sequence it. Good to go. Loop it up, you know what I'm saying? So, that's, um, that's how I do it. Uh, you know, experiment, try different things, any questions. Um, you can forward them to me, hopefully I'll know. I don't know a lot about, like, PCs hooking Cubase up, you know, if there's some snag you have, so check the forums, ask MPC forums, mpc-forums.com, um, so that is how you sync Cubase, how I sync Cubase with an MPC.